Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Realms of the Haunting. And when last we left off, we'd managed to get through the caverns and to the other side after presenting an offering to the Guardian of the Bridge. The caverns themselves, when you go through them the first time, I haven't actually been going through them uh, any more than once in any playthrough of the game I've ever done, the enemies constantly respawn. So you really want to get out of there quite quickly. There are probably some items that I've, uh, missed because I've done that, but I don't think it's anything that uh, is uh, really important. There may be some ammunition or a few healing potions, but not much else. Now we're going to move on here. There's going to be another enemy type we're introduced to, and unfortunately it's a very loud enemy type as I recall. It's also uh, vaguely familiar in the sense that it's like the ones we've uh, fought just in the caverns. It's these enemies here. Now they have a ranged attack. That's what makes them dangerous. Fortunately, they are very slow. I don't think they fly, even though they have wings. And basically, you need to be a little careful with them because they, um, that ranged attack is quite nasty if it hits. And also moves quite quickly too. But they can't climb down stairs, or at least they can't climb down these stairs. So we can basically be um, a little bit sneaky here and just keep blasting it with the staff. Because the staff actually does fire quite quickly if you're prepared to uh, take uh, particularly light shots against your target. It's going to be a fair few shots, but it is worth it just to kill this one. We're in no particular danger. We're in no particular danger, so take it nice and slow. If there are lesser enemies and multiple of them, I'd certainly be using the shotgun right now. There we go. Oh, that was a miss. Not a very well-aimed shot there at all. I don't remember if they have a melee attack. I'd rather not find out. I'd rather not find out at all. They do take a lot of hits. A lot of hits. Compared to the enemies we've encountered so far, this is a pretty nasty one. Oh, oh and I got hit there. That was silly. Should have actually uh, stepped to the side rather than just backwards. But it wasn't a very damaging hit. There we go! Took a little while, but the enemy is dead. Infidels, the sanctum is breached, brothers. Crawl from your warrens. Wake to my call. Awaken! Awaken! I highly hope that you don't mean these here. What's this made from? Crystal? No, it's nothing I've come across before. Fair enough. There is, however, what looks like a jumping puzzle ahead of us. And jumping puzzles are not fun. Because I'm not very good at them. I'm not very good at them at all. Fortunately, there is a, uh, as you can see here, there is a um, way basically to uh, get back if you manage to fall down. You don't want to fall down, so you've got to be very careful. Yeah, you, it is actually uh, not water. It's actually illusionary in the sense that, uh, as you can see, it's not actually there. And there isn't really anything worth exploring for down here either. So you actually want to be uh, very careful. You will actually lose a lot of health if you keep just falling down. There we go. Let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, jumping puzzles, not really my favorite. But we managed to get past the first one pretty well there. This one, however, is faster. This one's faster. There we go. And one more that is very, very fast indeed. Let's see if we can get past this one without falling again. There we go. Much better. That should be another doorway. And it is. Excellent. Let's hope we never have to go through there again. There does appear to be some more caverns though, but I think these are very small. Yeah, we're, we're already starting to see uh, worked walls and carpet, which is a good sign. Also, the staff is fully ready to fire again. Also, this appears to be some sort of catacomb. Yeah, we should be careful here. There's probably going to be some form of... There's a power of work here. I can feel it. I'm not sure of the source, though. Let's be careful. This place smells bad. It smells like somebody died. You're telling me. Also, we're blocked in. Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? No, no, it doesn't. We're pretty much stuck here for the moment. 
But fortunately, I don't think this place is too dangerous just yet. Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? There are some stairs up there. That's pretty handy. Yeah, I think I know... Ah, here is an enemy. A pretty dangerous one. A pretty dangerous one. Can they climb stairs? We're about to find out. Yes, they can. They can climb stairs. That's not good. Some of the enemies can't climb stairs. This one can. Not particularly nasty, though, but we will remember that they can climb stairs. Right, anything else here? There is this, which looks like a piece of armor. Let's take it. Good. You have found my breastplate. Put it on, Adam. It will fit. Though you are something less across the shoulders than I was in my prime. What sort of protection would you give me? It is boiled leather and plate form. What else were you expecting? No. I only jest. It will prove sovereign against both spear and dagger. Against the ungodly, it will shield the heart and the soul. But heed me well. The most subtle danger you must face comes from within. Your presence doesn't feel strong here. That is not my presence you perceive, Demoiselle, but the power of the Curas itself. Could it be that the evil of this place has corrupted it somehow? Never. What you are feeling is the power that the Curus has accumulated over the centuries. Thank you. We could certainly use your help. I must go now. Fare thee well. Thank you, Elf. Also, enemies. We sort of want to be careful of these. There we go. One more. We're not alone with that just being the only enemy, though. I think more appeared. And we need to reload. Careful. I can, in theory, use the sword here, but I'd rather just use shotgun pellet. We'll deal with this one. Now, the staff should be able to better deal with this one. They're quite fast, and the fact that they can climb stairs is a, uh, is certainly a danger. But yes, I was pretty much expecting enemies to appear as soon as we picked that up. It's sort of the way the game works, I've found in many, uh, points. Also, there is nothing else here except for that, uh, one healing potion. Actually, two healing potions that we will be grabbing once we've dealt with this enemy. There we go. Just come into my line of sight. There we go. A few more hits and we should be, uh, good. There we go. Much better. We'll just grab these. There's one there. And one there. Marvellous. Now, there is a door over here. Let's see what's in here. Stairs and this area. I'm not quite sure what this area does. Doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. Nope, doesn't do anything right now. But there is this. Doesn't appear to be working. That will be working at some point. Just not yet. Are there any conversation topics we could bring up? Ah, yes. There is the voice in the tunnels and the ire. Well, we've already looked at the ire. I mean, Alf's breastplate. Let's, the voice in the tunnels we haven't actually talked about yet, have we? That voice in the tunnels. The voice? He said something about a chamber or something. As some kind of guardian, wasn't it? I believe so. Sent to ward over some holy place. Fair enough. And now the breastplate. This looks like something Alf would wear. Perhaps. There's a connection to something. I can't be any clearer than that. Fair enough. There's not really uh, much else to discuss there. Is there anything else we can talk to concerning Alf himself? No, nothing else. Thought there might be uh, something else of any particular importance, but no. Let's head up the stairs now. Surely nothing bad can happen here. This has a hole in it. 
looks to have been battered in. From the inside, too. Oh dear. There are a fair few things here that uh, worry me. Firstly... Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? There's this door here. It's also leaking. Does the light work? Yes, the light works. That's always good. Anything in here? Nope. Nothing in there at all. What about in here? Anything in here? No. Someone thinking of leaving? Perhaps so. There's a lot of reading to be done there. The mind is stronger than most would believe. Uh, Florentine. Far stronger in the whole. It is man's mind that forms the creatures he sees around him, his thoughts and hitherto his creation. Thoughts move like waters against the rock, like hands at the clay wheel, forging and creating the shadows they see around them. Shadows of light, shadows of darkness, shadows from the soul. The minds that are strong, whether in virtue or flaw, create these shadows. The minions of all darkness and the avatars of all, that is light. These creatures are the manifestation of the mind. They are whole only by man's thoughts, and the strongest of minds will create the purest of both. So do not say that these creatures are otherworldly, for they are not. They are part of man as he is part of them. The projections of powerful minds. What the hell's all this? I have absolutely no idea, Adam. Well, I don't really have much of an idea either, but I've read it. Don't budge. That won't budge. What about this door? I'm gonna have to be very careful because this place is dark. And that's a monster. That is a monster! I'm gonna have to hide away from that monster. That is a monster with multiple swords. Yep, multiple swords there. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm stuck. Not good. Not good. Use the pistol. There we go. That was bad. I backed up into a corner there, and that proved to be rather silly. Sometimes you just want to wait and uh, not move into somewhere too quickly. There I made a mistake. Fortunately, we have some healing potions. We most certainly want to be using them. Use the lesser ones first. There we go. We're pretty much back to full health. We most certainly want to be using the shotgun more often here. Also, we really want to find a light switch. And there's some pistol ammo. Is that a light switch? I don't see one. Oh, there's one. There we go. It's a good thing that uh, I found that then and not at a later point. I think a later point would have actually been uh, far too late. Especially considering I'd have gone down this corridor and not seen anything. This door probably leads to over there. What about this room? This room is entirely dark. Light switch? Anywhere? Oh, hello, another one of you. How are you? I'm just gonna walk around you and basically uh, hope that uh, there are no more enemies appear. How are you? Fortunately, we've only found one enemy so far with a ranged attack, which pretty much means that unless I back myself into a corner, you're gonna be alright in this area. That one is dealt with. I don't think there's any light switches here at all. Let's have a look in this corner. Anything? Ooh. That's a healing potion. Good, it makes up for the healing potions that I used earlier. Is there another one? No. What about in here? Ah, there we go. That definitely makes up for the two that I've used already. Okay, there's nothing else in here that I can see. Right, let's move on then. So we haven't used this door yet. We also haven't used this door yet either. And this door is... it's very dark in here. There's also an armor stand. There's also a light switch. And something else to read. Let's see if I can read this. So what part I hear you say, Florentine? Do the creations you call God and Satan calculate within the equation? Both are present, but both are without. These powers are the center of this world. It would be pointless to say otherwise. These powers are the sum total of man's thoughts. Without form, for they are not fully conceived. They constantly germinate and die within the soul stone. There's a mention of that word soul stone. We've heard that a few times. They vie for the thoughts of man, and when one becomes the strongest, it will take on a form and come again into this realm. So you see, 
both these powers are the sum total of this world, at any one time, and until now have shared this place, but not for much longer. This world in which you live is becoming corrupt, and the pure thoughts of men are dwindling fast. It is to the dark side of man's mind that the path is leading. The, uh, this road which is even now forming the future. Two will come, Florentine. Two men. This is burnt into the wall. Burnt? You sure? Burnt into the wall? That's quite impressive. Old suit of armor. All the pieces are wired together. To stop it collapsing, I expect. Now, there is a uh, scroll here. A map. But of where? More importantly, there's this here, which is a magnifying glass. This is exquisite. Look at the work around the glass. I'd say it was French if it wasn't for the peculiar design. We'll have that. Sketch of a sword. Like no sword I've ever seen. That's something we're going to want. We're also going to want this map. I'm a little wary about picking it up, though. No, nothing happened. I was actually expecting something to happen. 1779, Fleur and Maison. French. Mademoiselle, you really amaze me sometimes. Let's have a look at um, this map that we're looking at. Ooh, this is an important map, the uh, Raquium Maze. Yeah, we're going to be going into this maze and we're gonna need all the items that are pointed out here. Absolutely all of them. We're going to need that. We're going to need that. We're going to need that for sure. But this is a maze that we are most certainly going to have to examine. There is also uh, a sketch. Sketch of a sword. Like no sword I've ever seen. What's that smudge towards the top of the pommel? Yeah, what is that smudge? We're not quite sure from uh, what we can see, but we've seen this sword before in the cutscene for the introduction. We might be seeing that sword again. In fact, I'd pretty much say the chance of seeing that sword again is pretty high. Now, this room is completely dark. There is, however, this light switch, which is handy. This is filthy. I've been slept in for some time. Judging by the state of it, I'm not surprised. But look at what's under the bed. Someone's walking stick? Rather ornate, isn't it? Very ornate. It's actually a weapon, but it's less a weapon than you'd think. It's much less a weapon than you'd think. We actually want to swap that round. Let's uh, swap them round. Someone's walking stick? Rather ornate, isn't it? Let's have a look at it and discuss it. Look at the workmanship in this. The jewel in the headpiece. It looks like the one that my father had around his neck. Could it be magical? It seems to be charged in some way. It has limited use, something to do with movement, I think. Ah, it is Florentine's staff. We're most certainly not going to uh, want to use it, though, because it does indeed have another purpose. Empty closets. This one is not so empty, Locked. but we are going to need some form of key. We're also going to be looking in here because there are a fair few items that we want. Healing potions, mostly. And healing potions are always, always good. Let's see if I can grab the healing potion from here. Yes, I can. There's also some more reading for us here. Their names are Gaul and Hawk Florentine. Timeless creatures who will focus the thoughts of man and make them substance through the soul stone. One is pure and without sin. The other, he is man's weak he is man's wickedness. These two creatures have fought for dominion over countless eternities since the soul stone fell to this world. But it is here, within and above this place, that the final battle will be fought. The battle that will dictate the eternal future of all mankind. Who will win, I cannot say, but the strongest will be the reflection of man's thoughts at that juncture. They are coming, Florentine. They are coming to this place. The seals that you have broken, that once hid the soul stone, have awakened them and, alt and alerted them to the stone. You have brought the last battle too soon, Florentine and the universal balance has been shifted. Upon the four winds they come, Gaul and Hawk, the final battle. Florentine, you are a fool. Well, whoever Florentine is, uh, yeah. Whoever that Florentine is referring to, if it's a Florentine we know, it's uh, not clearly stating, but um, 
yeah, things are not going so great for us right now, in the sense that there is a lot of foreshadowing going on. And it's not good foreshadowing either. But when we come back, folks, maybe we'll find more things literally burnt into walls. What could have burnt this onto the wall with such precision? What indeed. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And maybe next time, I won't back up into corridors and then get hit by, uh, weird creatures with multiple swords. Who knows? Okay, I'll probably get hit by weird creatures with multiple swords some more. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.